All right, welcome to video number three. Congratulations on getting this far. Uh, we're halfway there, and this is the exciting part. We start to glue up the logs. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. The the, the uh, tools that you'll need, the glues that I use, and how I mix it, and how everything's clamped up. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so let's look at what we're going to need today to um, clamp up our logs. Okay, so I have a uh, a brush here. You're going to need a measuring cup. You're going to need a couple cowls for doing the clamping. Okay, mine are plywood, uh, and then they're uh, so the glue doesn't stick. I have uh, packing tape taped over these and these are 12 inches long by three quarters of an inch wide so I have two of those for clamping each log uh, okay you're gonna need um, some wax paper to protect your surface and then I have over here we have the clamps that I use I use seven inch uh, spring clamps don't use the smaller ones you're gonna want to use the seven inch ones or around there <clears throat> And then you're going to need some, I'm using uh, Type Bond uh, Original Glue, and of course your logs. Now over here, I have, uh, uh, this log has already been glued up, okay? Here's another one. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you with these for how I do it. Okay, let's go to the next part. Okay, we're now going to mix up our glue in a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, one part glue, one part water. We're gonna thin it, thin out the the glue. So I take my original type bond, and I'm gonna fill this up to my line there. There we go. And then with my spray bottle, I know it takes about eight sprays to, to balance it out here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, and we're just gonna mix this up. We want kind of a watery type glue when we uh, glue everything up. Okay, there we go. Very watery. Okay, next step, we we're going to glue everything up. Okay, we're now ready to glue everything up. Got my cowls over here, my clamps are on the other side here, my watery glue. And stir that up a little bit more. Okay, and my two logs that I'm going to glue up. Now, this is going to go kind of quick here. So we got the watery glue, got my brush, and I'm just gonna do one side. Just kind of paint it on there. Put the next one on there. The watery glue. one now you really want to make sure it might be a good idea to have your hand out to make sure you put each one of these stacks in order because if you glue them up and they're not in order then you're gonna have to redo that one okay and that is not fun all right so this stack is almost done this goes by pretty quick You might wonder why I'm doing the watery glue. Well, it just uh, produces a better glue line and uh, the wood, um, you, you'd be surprised how, how well it absorbs all of this. Okay, so there, there's one. Let's do the next stack over here. Okay. Um, I've just, just from doing this 
a bunch of times, I know that how well this uh, this method works with this watery glue. Uh, fingers are getting sicky. Got the black one. Next one's gonna be my red. Paint that on there. Don't worry when the the wood's gonna have absorb all this moisture, but as it dries, that that swelling will will go down. So not to worry about that. Okay, where's the white one? Just looks like I have just enough glue to do both of these tiles here. So red. Hopefully that's in the camera and you can see that. There's black. And then we have one more red one to do. I mean, green. <laughs> there we go. Just painting that on there. Here's my green one. Very good. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I've got my cows here. Uh, I'm going to put one stack here. And my other stack over here. Make sure everything's lined up. It's very sticky. Okay. Maybe this is going to go on top. do is I'm going to clamp these there's that one so I like to do uh, two clamps on each one and I kind of rotate direction here like that. I'm going to do the same over here. I clamp that one. Okay, there we go. So here's here's what we got. All right, now we're just gonna wait for this to dry. And then we'll do, uh, we got, I got two more left and clamp that one up, okay? There you go. So one of the questions you might have is why am I using spring clamps versus this type of clamp, a screw clamp? Now the reason why is with a screw clamp, this type, the pressure can be all over the place. You have no way of knowing how tight you've done it and have it consistently because if you do it too much even just a little bit more that can cause thousands of an inch which can multiply in clamping and squishing that uh, log too much and then it, it won't be even so what i have found in my experience is that with spring clamps it's a consistent even clamping pressure so my my logs or each stack here comes out perfectly even I haven't had any issues with these. So use a spring clamp, um, whatever brand you like. I like to use the seven inch ones. The shorter ones um, aren't gonna work very well, okay? So uh, the big ones, these are seven inch ones. These work great, all right? Hope that helps. So another question I'm often asked about the uh, the tiles that's, or the, the stacks that I make here is, why do I make them so short? Well, the reason for that is the longer you make them, the, the greater the chances for it to, when you're clamping it, for it to be wavy. So I like to keep them short. Like I said in the earlier videos, it's only three inches long. 
I find this works great. So, you know, you'll see in uh, upcoming videos, when we cut these off and everything, you'll actually get quite a few logs out of this uh, small stack. Okay. And the way that I create my rosettes, I don't create a big ring and then cut off uh, a bunch of rosettes. I inlay each rosette individually into the soundboard. I'll start with the, the inner tiles and then I, I route around that and then I put the rings, inlay the rings around that. That's just a method that I really enjoy doing and I, I like the control and the accuracy I get out of that. So that is why I make the, the short uh, uh, rows of, or length of this stack, okay? Hope it works for you, works for me, okay? All right, there are each one of our rows all glued up. Okay, so next uh, session what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut strips off this and we're gonna start making our rosette log. Now it really gets exciting. This is when it's, we start to see the design come together. Well, I hope you enjoyed this session. It was a lot of fun and I hope your work is progressing. And I will see you next time in session number four. And in that se session, what we will be doing is we'll be cutting off uh, strips off these logs to create our rosette tiles. So we'll actually be making the rosette log in our next session. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you keep progressing with this. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.